Good morning, everyone. The intentions for Holy Mass this morning for Pope Francis, all bishops and priests, for Sister Marga, for Fathers Ivan and Bogdan, for the poor, the sick and the dying, and those recommended to our prayers, for the souls in purgatory, for the conversion of sinners and the reign of God's kingdom on earth. You, O Lord, are close, and all your ways are truth. From of old I have known of your decrees, for you are eternal. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us ask the Lord for a humble heart that we may hear the good news of salvation and welcome Christ, our Redeemer, forgiving us our sins. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Unworthy servants that we are, O Lord, grieved by the guilt of our deeds, we pray that you may gladden us by the saving advent of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the book of Isaiah. Sing, O barren one, who did not bear, break forth into singing and cry aloud, you who have not had labor pains. For the children of the desolate one will be more than the children of her that is married, says the Lord. Enlarge the place of your tent, and let the curtains of your habitations be stretched out. Hold not back, lengthen your cords and strengthen your stakes, for you will spread the broad to the right and to the left, and your descendants will possess the nations and will people the desolate cities. Fear not, for you will not be ashamed. Be not confounded, for you will not be put to shame. For you will forget the shame of your youth and the reproach of your widowhood. You will remember no more. For your maker is your husband, the Lord of hosts is his name, and the Holy One of Israel is your Redeemer, the God of the whole earth he is called. For the Lord has called you like a wife forsaken and grieved in spirit, like a wife of youth when she is cast off, says your God. For a brief moment I, for, I forsook you, but with great compassion I will gather you. In overflowing wrath for a moment I hid my face from you, but with everlasting mercy I will have compassion on you, says the Lord, your Redeemer. For this is like the days of Noah to me, as I swore that the waters of Noah should no more go over the earth. So I have sworn that I will not be angry with you and will not rebuke you. For the mountains may depart and the hills be removed, but my mercy shall not depart from you and my covenant of peace 
shall not be removed, says the Lord who has compassion on you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will extol you, Lord, for you have raised me up. <clears throat> I will extol you, Lord, for you have raised me up. I will extol you, Lord, for you have raised me up and have not let my enemies rejoice over me. O Lord, you have lifted up my soul from the grave, restored me to life from those who sink into the pit. I will extol you, Lord, for you have raised me up. Sing psalms to the Lord, you faithful ones. Give thanks to his holy name. His anger lasts a moment, his favor all through life. At night there are tears, but at dawn comes joy. I will extol you, Lord, for you have raised me up. Hear, O Lord, and have mercy on me. Be my helper, O Lord. You have changed my mourning into dancing. O Lord, my God, I will thank you forever. I will extol you, Lord, for you have raised me up. Alleluia. Alleluia. Prepare the way of the Lord. Make his path straight. All flesh shall see the salvation of God. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. When the messengers of John had gone, Jesus began to speak to the crowds concerning John. What did you go out into the wilderness to behold? A reed shaken by the wind? What then did you go out to see? A man clothed in soft raiment? Behold, those who are gorgeously apparelled and live in luxury are in king's courts. What then did you go out to see? A prophet. Yes, I tell you, and more than a prophet. This is he of whom it is written, Behold, I send my messenger before your face, who shall prepare your way before you. I tell you, among those born of women, none is greater than John. Yet, he who is least in the kingdom of God is greater than he. When they heard this, all the people and the tax collectors justified God. And having been baptized with the baptism of John, but the Pharisees and the lawyers rejected the purpose of God for themselves, not having been baptized by him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, this story of John the Baptist sending delegation to Jesus and Jesus canonizing John the Baptist is familiar because we heard it, but from Matthew last Sunday. Today we have the same story, but from Luke. But what is special to Luke's version, what is not heard in Matthew's, may catch our attention and help us in our Advent prayer. It is clear that in both accounts, um, there is a big distinction made between those who accepted John 
and those who rejected John, the tax collectors and the sex workers, accepted John. And so, in so doing, justified God, as the phrase is. Whereas the righteous, the Pharisees, the lawyers, the leaders of the people, rejected John as an eccentric or whatever. And so doing, rejected what Luke calls God's purpose for them, God's plan for them. So it's very interesting the way Luke puts it, that he sees that God had a plan, has a plan for individuals. And that this business of accepting or rejecting the plan is at the heart of this dilemma that humans face. To reject the word of God, the messengers of God, the prophets of God, and the Son of God, is to build rejection into our lives. And so one rejection breeds another rejection. And we end up with a negative life, always rejecting, saying no thanks, or just simply no. Whereas acceptance, accepting the words of God down the centuries, the words of the prophets, the words of the Baptists, and most of all, the word incarnate. One acceptance leads to another, to a positive life. And the ugly truth is that for many of us, it's neither one nor the other, clingly or completely. We are a bit of this and a bit of that. We there's some rejection in our lives, there's some acceptance. But God is looking for a wholehearted acceptance. God's plan for us as a church, as a people, but also as individuals. He has special graces for us. And we get a glimpse of this in the Old Testament reading today. The mountains may fall, and the hills turn to dust, but the love of the Lord will endure. His love for us individually. My covenant of peace will never leave you. I have compassion on you. And all this is made more accessible and more vivid and more radical in Jesus, the Son of God, accepting him and accepting his way more and more makes our life whole and agrees with and fits with God's plan for us. So we pray to be free of mediocrity, of half-hearted responses, and ask as an Advent grace and an Advent light, to be totally available to God in Jesus. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. So let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of the Lamb for the praise and glory of His name. For our good and the good of all the Church. Accept, we pray, O Lord, these offerings we make, gathered from among your gifts to us. And may what you grant us to celebrate devoutly here below gain for us the prize of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation. That when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes. In the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her uh, to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Stephen, our Bishop, Sylvester, his auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. I welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, uh, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> uh, through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we have the courage to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom of God and the glory of the Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, 
but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. <coughs> the body of Christ the body of Christ Amen. the body of Christ Amen. the body of Christ Mm-hmm. The body of Christ. Amen.
Let us live justly and devoutly in this age as we await the blessed hope and the coming of the glory of our great God. Let us pray. <clears throat> May these mysteries, O Lord, in which we have participated, profit us, we pray, for even now as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.